Hello and welcome to my Living Lab lecture today. My name is Adnan Haider and I am very happy to have the opportunity to share my work with you today and to discuss it with you. I will present my work about touch events recognition on smart robotic skin sensor using deep learning. With increased human robot interaction, a safe, reliable collision detection framework has become an essential component for dynamic and unstructured environments. Sense of touch in robots can play a fundamental role in enhancing the perceptual, cognitive and operative capabilities of robots, specifically when they physically interact with objects and humans in the industrial environment. Many solutions for designing, engineering and manufacturing tactile sensors have been presented because the availability of appropriate sensing technology is the first and necessary step. But effective use of sense of touch in reports also depends on understanding the mechanism of tactile perception through which the robot builds an appropriate world model. In this context, today, in this lecture, I will present novel touch sensor technology for sensitive skin and research challenges to optimize novel touch sensor to classify force and location detection efficiently with a deep learning approach. What I would present today is my experience with developing artificial intelligence based tactile sensing technologies for robots. As you all know, we are moving the use of robots from manufacturing environments where they are a well-defined task. But where we have a principle limited by behavioral diversity, there is no interaction with high humans. Here in this slide, two scenarios are presented. In a real-world environment, we have unpredictable environments and the robot needs to be adaptable, flexible and high behavioral diversity and also perform safe human-robot interaction in his new scenarios. We need to provide them with the sense of touch. The soft touch in a human is really a relevant sensing system because it is used for assessing the object, the material properties, weight, texture and shape. While in robotics, it is also used in grasping, manipulation, navigation, exploration, and human robot interaction. We have multiple different types of data coming from fingertip. We have force and deformation. We have temperature and detect temperature in two different ways. You take heat and detect cold. We have vibration sensor that detect pain. In fingers, we can measure position and velocity. We have some sense of how much force we are trying to exert on the muscles. So the real range of data they are and understanding which of those we have in a robot or which of those we need in a robot is pretty much still a big open question. Our approach therefore is to say put it all in one and see what we can do it with it. If we cannot do something and we have all the sensing, then it is not because we are missing sensing. The sensing might not be good enough, but at least it's there. Once we can do the tasks, we can work out which sensing we actually need. The other challenges with this is the most of those sensing modalities are pretty hard to implement. Current robots commonly include technologies for touch sensing. Some approaches even incorporate touch gesture recognition, although they usually require important hardware deployments, mostly directed towards equipping the robot with several sensors. Besides, the reliability of these sensing technology is limited, as most technologies are still dealing with problems such as false positive or low recognition rates. In contrast, my approach is based on analyzing the touch events transmitted through sensitive skin when a touch is performed. Force deforms the skin surface and electrical impedance changes are sensed by a time domain reflectometry device. 
Raw data can be used to extract feature like normal force. It can be divided into multiple force levels. Touch position, the coordinates of the touch, complies with the artificial finger and a factor for specialized training data collection strategy. Building block of deep learning based training procedure is adapted on the data set generated from thin and elastic surface sensor applied to robot components for detection of touch events, their localization and measurement of touch force and collision detection. Time domain reflectometry device sending the radio frequency electromagnetic waves in the sensitive skin and receive the partial reflection waves and generate a time series data set. We use state of the art deep learning methods to train the time series data set obtained from time domain reflectometry device. When the model is trained, we will deliver the trained model to the robot environment for end user feedback. The end user interaction and specifically the evaluation of the sensor function by user would have to be carried out according to a certain scheme, which is implemented in an auxiliary software. The software should guide the user through on-site procedure. The user should be given a possibility to mark incorrect inference result and to provide correct ones. The end user provided input together with the same physical sensor output could then form a kind of additional learning instances. The end user feedback will consider for further improvement of a model. Typical solution for touch measurements use capacitive or resistive principle combined with coordinate based sensing of the sensor elements. The number of sensing elements defines the achievable resolution. The primary signal sensing must provide one communication channel for each element. This result in a high number of necessary transmission paths or requires an active transformation for serial transmission. The principle followed here can work with a single transmission path that is intrinsically serial and theoretically does not impose a specific sensor resolution. Robust low cost sensor design combined with deep learning based signal interpretation enables a new class of bionically inspired human machine interaction approaches. Exemplary simulation result of an electromagnetic wave propagating in a segment of sensor waveguide. In A, you can see snapshot of the electric field norm it after the signal injection, while in B, input port impedance showing a time dependency due to reflexing phenomena at the waveguide widening. An automatic acquisition of time domain reflectometry data on physical touch sensor is implemented. On the one hand, the data are used for the validation of models. On the other hand, they form a decisive part of the training set for deep learning algorithm. With this context, a gentry robot based test stand was designed and adapted for automatic data acquisition on touch sensor. It consists on the following parts. Extension of a typical gentry robot layout by rotating axis for test on flat and the curve sensor, design and manufacturing of the force sensing and effector with touch elements, house flexibility and shape mimic human fingers, design of experiment for training data acquisition, developing of a control software for conducting and documenting of comprehensive measurement series. It enables a time domain analysis of radio frequency electromagnetic wave phenomena occurring in touch sensor. The approach open up the possibility to evaluate different internal sensor layouts by simulating both intrinsic and touch caused wave reflection. This include a realistic analysis of the sensor sensitivity in the context of the known signals to noise ratio of the used time domain reflectometry hardware. The used strategy of acquiring train and validation data is based on physical experiment on the described validation objects that are conducted in a test stand, specifically developed and built. A special developed software design experiments by calculating optimal touch point sequences 
traveling as a salesman's problem, control the access motor during measurements and store the resulting measurements data. The implemented force control of the generated touches take place in a closed loop using the force sensor in the end effector. Another function of the software is the triggering and the data exchange with the time domain reflectometry device. A device architecture was chosen that enables low power operation, low physical dimension and weight and affordable manufacturing cost. Shows a benchmark result for the used mirroring solution consisting of the mentioned device and the self-developed control software in a high-speed mode suitable for collision detection. Acquisition time of during sample series of time domain reflectometry measurements, each point represents a tenfold rust measurement with the resolution of 500 data points that re represent a fast and rough mode for collision detection. The repetition rate reaches approximately at 40 hertz. The dataset used for the final training and validation purposes consists of the result of three identical measurement series conducted in the test stand. Each series covered force levels of 1 newton, 2 newton, so on up to 10 newton, with 5,000 measurements for every force level. Before each single touch related measurements and additional reference measurement was taken, such procedure resulted in the following formula. Each single measurement involved saving of position and force data as well as of the resulting sensor response in the form of time domain reflectometry sequences recorded in brushed mode of 50 sequences containing 1000 data points each. Three repetition of the measurement sequence were chosen to test the mechanical resistance of the sensor. An internal question was also whether the expected settling a king of aging of the physical structure would cause such changes in the sensor responses that could possibly lead to incapabilities of the later generated deep learning models. The further description of validation test relates to 55k records resulting from the last mirroring series. These 55k records were randomly split in 80% training data set and 20% validation data set. Then the training data was used to train of different deep learning models that cover the respective sensor functional touch detection, touch localization and touch for estimation. Here is the network architecture for touch force and location recognition. I have tested different architecture of the neural network with different hyperparameters. The best performing network is LSTM. LSTM is good for understanding of the sequence data. Our data is like a time series data. We implied all of the 1000 features vectors as input. The LSTM network is composed of three hidden layers. The data is fed into the input layer in the shape of a window size 20, multiply all features of 1000 data sequences at each time step. Each iteration take temporal instances of one sensor reading channel with return sequence set to true and passes all information to the first hidden layer of 256 neurons. The model weights are updated at the end of each time step, the second hidden layer with 200 neurons and third layer with 128 neurons is combined with the input layer of non-unfavorable information passed through fully connected layers with the TANA activation function. A categorical cross entropy loss function is used for touch force classification and mean square error for touch location. During training, an SGD optimizer with the learning rate of 0.001 was used for data regularization, a weight decay step of 1000 and decay rate of 0.09 were given to the optimizer and a drop layer of 0.3 was used between the layers. The output layer has the software max activation function for touch force and for touch position the sigmoid 
activation function is used with mean square error. The total number of trainable parameters of the model is 1.5 million. For touch force estimation is an extension of the previous functionality of touch detections. The focused sensing principle is based on physical sensor de deformation due to touches and therefore could potentially deliver signals that changes with the varying touch force. The labeling in this case is consist with the respective demonstrator target regarding the number of force classes categorized into low touch, it have no touch and other forces of 1 Newton, 2 Newton and 3 Newton. Mid touch have forces labeled from 4 Newton to 7 Newton and high touch have the force labels between 8 Newton to 10 Newton. The confusion matrix shows performance matrix for LSTM network. Remarkable is the fact that the network can also take over the touch detection functionality. The performance for the class low touch is about 97%, mid touch is 73.3% and high touch is 86%. Best performing class is low touch with setting up the no touch happens on the sensor surface. The accuracy graph presented the training accuracy with the validation accuracy is 90%. The confusion matrix shows with the positive predictive values and false discovery rates as well as with two positive rates and false negative rates for the functionality of touch detection. The used LSTM network determined in an extensive hyperparameter optimization. The labeling procedure divides the training set into two class only low touch and high touch. The first of them contains all reference or no touch example as well as example with force level from 1 Newton, 2 Newton and 3 Newton. The class high touch cover all high forces level from 4 Newton, 5 Newton and so on up to 10 Newton. Such solution was chosen mainly in order to avoid fault touch detection due to possible signal sectoring. For example, due to changes caused by sensor wear, the overall validation performance is in this case is 94.61%. Although an imbalance of the example quantities in the classes should be taken into account. In addition to validation accuracy, the shortest possible reaction time is particularly important in the case of collision detection. The inference time seems to be good, manageable in described use case on the one hand with the appropriate choice of an deep learning model and its structure on the other hand with the proper choice of the inference hardware. A great challenge is lie in the optimization of the time domain reflectometry electronics where the physical wave propagation and the current state of the development of high frequency technology set physical limits. The touch localization function specific a 16 texel based resolution. Each texel is a reference of a like pixel is defined as a virtual unit area with orthogonal surface in which no more precise distinction of the touch position is possible. Due to the design related to anisotropy of the position resolution of the sensor, an increase in the number of taxel in the circumferential direction is reasonable. Therefore, the result presented below come from labeling with a 3 by 4 and 4 by 5 texels. The definition of the texel region occurs here slowly by appropriate labeling of the training data, which is consist with the approaches of touch detection and touch force estimation. The confusion matrix for touch localization in the case of 3 multiply 4 texel grid the best performing LSTM network revealed an overall validation performance of 90%. The recognition of the hour represented no touch class has shown the best performance and the bias is the overall result. However, it can be seen that the most misclassified examples are grounded around the main diagonal of the confusion matrix, indicating mixing up of geometry neighboring taxels, 
which diffuses the importance of these error in some way. Some further discussion of the achieved model performance metric is given. The work performed has also included more taxal scheme. It was found that an increase in number of taxal initially result in only slow deterioration of validation performance. In slide shows an attempt of customized presentation of validation result for touch localization function. All the shown touches that occurred at the position marked by the triangles were incorrectly classified. The diagram shows only touches with forces above 3 Newton that according to the labeling in analyzed case should be recognized and assigned to the corresponding taxels. Triangle mark the actual touch position and arrows point to the middle points of the recognized taxels. Arrows pointing to the gray outer area symbolize not recognized touches. A closer look reveals that many misclassification occurred near the taxel boundaries. If such misclassified touches were assigned to neighboring taxels, the subjective or qualitatively perceived correctness probably does not noticeably deteriorate in the human machine interaction context. And indeed, the image show no misclassification to distance taxels. And other observation could refer to not recognized touches. Most of them occur with forces in the lower force range. Again, a human operator would probably increase the touch force in such cases in order to trigger the desired action without noticing a slight changes of the triggered threshold. Here, a short video of the demonstrator presenting the result of real-time working of the touch events and location recognition. Thank you so much for watching this lecture. This demonstrator presents the result of touch events and location recognition. If you want to discuss and have any interesting ideas, for expanding the sense of touch, please reach to us by email.